Hello everybody, this is Michael Filesage checking in here today and it is almost Christmas guys so I hope you guys are keeping warm and having a great time with your families and friends or if not on my channel. So <laughs> um, basically today I wanted to talk about a topic that I've been meaning to touch on for quite a while. It's not really um, I guess technical info or anything like that, it's more so just the kind of attitude that I think it's important to have when doing our hobby, right? And that and basically um, it's about failure or the concept of failure and contamination. And if you have contaminations in your grow and it's getting you down, you've come to the right place because let's talk about it. Contamination, first of all, is not failure, right? I don't see it as failure and I don't think anybody should. You know, if anybody tries to make fun of you or tries to put you down for your contams, then just ignore them because they're going through some right? They're going through some themselves. So anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, contaminations because it is something that, that, uh, that we face. Everybody who does this hobby from the novice, from the very beginner, all the way up to the absolute expert, it's just a part of the hobby, right? You change something, you change a substrate, you change your environment, whatever the reason it may be, you change your technique, you change your flow hood, you change your, I don't know, you know, you change anything and you could get contaminations, right? Uh, and sometimes you really just can't get to the root of it. Uh, you know, things like that happen. But it's something that, you know, as I said, from the beginner to the expert will face it at some time, at some point, maybe multiple times, especially if they're doing a lot of experimentation, sort of like I am. Uh, it's just something that's in inevitable. And, you know, so don't let it get you down. It's just take it as a learning experience. What's important is what you do with that info so that the next time you try, then hopefully you, you can glean something from um, why you contempt. Right. Maybe you could find the cause or try to find the cause and say, hmm, speculate on the cause and then try to do it, you know, differently. I recommend, you know, just doing one or two things differently every time you change it, just so you could keep track of exactly what works and what doesn't. And basically, um, I'm personally going through this as well right now. Uh, you know, I've had real good luck with fruits up until now for the most part, you know, like I never got a contamination that I didn't expect to contam, basically. For example, if I knew a spawn was bacterial and I spawned it, then I wouldn't be surprised if it got trike or some kind of mold, right? But recently, I've just been having so much contaminations, if you guys have been seeing uh, my channel so far, especially with the poo cakes, you know, that's been going on for a while. But again, this is, as I said, in the beginning of my, in my first poo cake tech video, I said, this is still a work in progress and I'm just documenting the steps and we are getting closer. If you guys see this footage right now that I'm going to overlay on this video, uh, this is actually a Patreon only video currently. So only Patreons can see it, but it'll be free for everybody soon. Uh, check it out, patreon.com. Mycophilia. And in this video, as you can see, this is the, the, the poo cake, right? And this poo cake, look at how much, um, how much primordia is there. And you compare that to the earlier poo cakes, and this has just far more primordia, right? Uh, so anyways, that, so, so we made a, quite a bit of progress with the last attempt, which is fantastic. What did I change? I changed the fruiting chamber. I changed it to uh, this kind of big plastic bag rather than a bag on top setup, right? And, you know, but this is from the same batch. And if you look here, there's barely any primordia, but it has, it's not uh, contamined, right? Recently, there's just some primordia, but basically that video that, that you saw of the primordial uh, cake, that was from like a week ago or like almost a week ago, you know, so, but they were in the same environment and they're from the same genetics. Well, same plate, right? Because there's all sorts of genetics in a single plate if you're not going from a monoculture or a isolate. So, you know, there, there's a bit of mystery there. I think it's just genetics, just things like that. So, so basically I see that this can work. Okay, so why did the last one trick out? Well, I think I just misted it too much, you know, which was the problem with the last one. So I made the mistake again, but now I, now I know for sure that I should probably like lessen it quite a bit more because I did lessen the misting, but now I know I should lessen it even more to make it work. So anyways, you know, so, so I learned something from it and it is getting better and better and better each time I do it. Uh, but now the problem is the core lovers are having contamination problems as well. And I have never had a problem with core lovers before like this. And this is really, really just making me sad because I'm trying to produce some swabs so that we could do our grow along. And, you know, I, I think the problem is I didn't take my own advice 
and I sort of rushed it because I used a T1 plate to inoculate the grains and I think that caused bacteria. And I should have been even more careful to not use a T1 plate because the original plate, the swab plate, was bacterial. There was quite a bit of bacteria there. So that was a big F up on my part. Uh, and I think that's the problem. The, the grains are slightly bacterial. They colonize fine. They recover after shakes, no problem. But when I try to break it up, they are pretty hard, right? Like they don't look like, they don't look completely like rubber. They look just like thick mycelium. Here, here's an example, right here, right? But this is most likely bacterial contaminated, right? Um, and so because I use a T, most likely because I use a T1 plate because I was trying to, trying to rush the process, which is a big no-no, which I tell you guys not to do, but I didn't follow my own advice and that's what happened. Uh, and I spawned a monotub yesterday of it. I don't have high hopes, unfortunately, guys. So it may take a little while longer. Uh, I know it leaks on it. So worst case scenario, um, it leak, we'll have a leak swabs. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically, you know, this is uh, what's going on here. And so, okay, so why am I having problems with core lovers? Okay, so that's one aspect, right? Um, I, I didn't go for a T2 or a T3 plate to really ensure, even though it, the mycelium looked fine, right? On the plate but as I, as I say guys hidden contams are a thing and you know and you know it didn't smell or anything like that it doesn't smell at all you know it smells like beautiful coral lover mycelium i love the smell right it's just fine but the, the way it's behaving it's not and here's the contamination guys so see if you can spot it see that some kind of mold i believe i've kept it for since yesterday but you see that yeah, and it was fully colonized, looking nice and all, and this is what happened. So I'm very, very bummed out. I just keep getting contaminations, guys. And I've never had, like, so many weird contaminations happening across the board, you know? Um, and and here's here's the other thing, right? So why am I having all these contaminations? Well, there, there's multiple factors. The poo lovers, it could be that I'm not pasteurizing it long enough, or it could be something to do with the, with the, with the compost manure that I've been using because it's just not working at all. So, so what I'm going to do next time I do poo lovers, for example, is I'm going to just use a straight up cow manure. And what else am I doing? Well, uh, also I changed up my brand of core. Before I used to use Eco Earth exclusively and I've never found anything weird. I have had like a plant come up, but I've never had anything weird like I am getting with this core. I'm getting so many leaves in this core, which is a contam vector, right? Like Bucket Tech is not going to cut it for things like leaves, things like bamboo, which I also found, and I found insect eggs, right? If you guys saw my post, I'm going to post a picture here of the bamboo and the insect eggs. I don't have pictures of the leaves, but there's mostly leaves in here and stuff like that. And it's kind of gross, but uh, but more importantly, I think this, this could also be a uh, factor in my rising contaminations. So there is that as well. I changed my core brand. And another thing that I have changed are, is my grain brand. Right, because my grains, my recent inoculations are taking absolutely forever. Same technique, same sterilization technique that I've been using for years, same inoculation technique, same agar technique. I've never had problems like this, but I changed up my brand of grain twice to two different brands. The second one is still testing. I'm not sure if, if it's a problem yet because I just inoculated. It's been like three days and it is getting better growth than the first new brand of grain that I've tried. But the first one is just taking forever. I could have colonized basically, I could have had two fully colonized jars. I could have had two runs of fully colonized jars with the same jar, right? At this point with, with my old batch of grains. And this, these guys are still like, oh, got a long way to go. Here, I'll show you an example. Like this, right? I've already shaken up twice. So this is like recovering. Like this is like days ago though, like over, over a week ago, you know? And the, and the grains and, and the mycelium is growing, but it's taking forever. Like they are, they're recovered, but it's like super slow motion. And it's not like because of winter, my room is too cold or anything. It's 72.5. It's, it's, it's not insane. It's, it's fine. So, you know, like things like that. So, so what am I going to do about the grains? Well, well, it could be that these new grains are not as clean as my last grains. That's possible. At first I thought it's the fungicide and I'll, I'll be sure for, I'll be, I'll know for sure 
after uh, seeing how this brand, like the second new batch of grains that I'm trying right now goes. So it'll after a couple of days, I'll see the speed and make a judgment on that. But it could be, at first I suspected fungicide, but if the second one is also slow, then I'm going to think that maybe there's something, may, maybe these grains are dirtier than my old grains. So in that case, then I, I need to cook it for longer or do it at a higher PSI. And you know, there's something about destiny, I think, that I really feel, or like fate, I don't know if you guys believe in that, but I sort of believe in, I don't know, just like the waves of the universe, and I feel like I'm writing one right now. And I feel like there's great changes coming, and you know, I could look at this as a negative thing, but I personally don't see it as a negative thing, because I see all the other stuff that's going on. You know, you guys see like one video here, one video there from me. But I'm always working in the background, you know, working on the channel, working on the Patreon, working on Discord, working on Reddit, you know, um, chatting with you guys and stuff like that, answering emails and, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm or, or working on new ideas. You know, I'm a busy yeah, I'm a busy guy and I love it because I'm working towards something that I really believe in and I really enjoy doing. So um, basically uh now the grows aren't working but now the channel's working so i hit over a thousand subscribers recently on mycophilia thank you guys we've made it all right this is just the beginning again and also the nightclub is growing on its own it's gaining subscribers like crazy it gained like 44 subscribers yesterday on its own which is freaking insane right uh so mycophilia is also at a good pace you know i'm i gained like 50 subscribers yesterday and i got like 44 subscribers today you know it's just like it's 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 getting better and better and better so and now as you guys have noticed my video editing is uh the, the style of video that i'm making is getting more polished and i think it's making you know because i've always loved making documentaries and stuff or i've always wanted to get into documentaries since i was young so that's that's sort of the direction that i'm going right now with the nightclub and things like that so there's a lot of things you know it's not just like like surface level we're just looking at grains but i feel like the universe is like focus more on the on the other things right now because these things will work out but we want you to focus on this stuff right now and i got a bunch of jars right now colonizing you know and they are colonizing nonetheless so and anyways in terms of content i still got some clean truffle jars here so you know it's not like we're gonna run out of fruits and stuff it's just look because because I feel like I'm sort of obligated to show you guys some cool fruits and stuff. So I feel ashamed almost to come up here and show you guys my failures or I guess my contaminations, right? Not failures. But like if it was just me, I wouldn't I wouldn't really be too fussed about it because I just realized it's just a part of the process. Okay, so now we have an idea of what to change, what to watch out for. So um, basically, but, but because I'm doing a video, uh, I'm doing videos for you guys. You know, I feel like sort of ashamed and especially for my Patreons. I know you guys want some fruit and content. Don't worry, guys. It will come, right? Again, this is mycology. It takes a little bit of time, but the fruit and content will come. And I have a big backlog of old uh, fruiting videos from the old channel that I still have a lot of. So I'm going to be releasing that bit by bit to keep you guys um, satisfied. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. I'm working hard. Okay, we will be getting fruits eventually. Um so that's basically it. And going back to the whole universe thing, uh, you know, all of a sudden I'm getting all of these wonderful gifts from all of you guys. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. You know, I'm getting, I'm apparently going to be getting a flow hood. Um, somebody, Pacer, thank you so much, just sent me. Uh, yesterday he messaged me and he was like, hey, you want this pressure cooker? It's like brand new. It's, a, it's an eight quart Presto uh, pre pressure cooker, which is awesome because because I don't want a big pressure cooker. I could fit two to three jars in that thing. That would be just a perfect size for me. So thank you so much. So he's sending me that. And if the grains do turn out to be dirtier, and that's the problem with the slow colonization, then this pressure cooker will certainly help with the sterilization process, which is amazing. You know, and, and also the Martha stuff is coming up soon. So like all sorts of cool stuff happening, guys. So I think this is just like a great, uh, a great shift. I feel it. And I think that this is just preparing for great things moving forward. So anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to share. And I wanted to tell you guys exactly what's going on. You know, uh, you, remember the core lover tubs as well? Those guys also got some green mold. Why do I, th why did that happen? Why did that happen? Well, because it was too moist in there. That's, that's 
what I've concluded upon. So, and remember, this is the first time that I tried uh, Ziploc bag tech like inside. So I didn't, I did it unmodified. So next time I'm gonna lower the misting at least, and I'm I'm gonna make some holes on the side so that it gets more FAE. So, you know, just gonna keep progressing the thing. And again, I'm doing a lot of experiments uh, at the same time here. I'm keeping track of them. That's the important of the thing, keep track of them, right? But, you know, I'm also getting a lot of contams. So I'm just, dissolving each cause one by one or trying to dissolve it to the best of my abilities so that next time it's going to be better anyways guys this this video is sort of long-winded and you know it touched on all points here and there all over the place i may go back to like a point that i was talking about but i hope you guys understand better what i'm trying to say so anyways guys thank you for watching i hope you guys are having a great holiday season uh i'm thinking about doing a christmas eve live stream tomorrow if you guys are interested let me know in the comments all right guys so have a great day or night, guys. Michael File Sage, checking out.